Okay, so we're gonna go over something I just added in. Um, you guys have seen the uh, bullets. As you can see, they're working just fine. Uh, there's a little health bar down there, and I don't know if you can see those uh, little lives, so I'm just gonna go over and get shot here. I kinda don't wanna get too far over there just yet. Um, but, uh, what the heck I will. Let's just pop up here. Um, if you can see that there, that's just a little particle system they're firing up. Um, it's basically creating uh, 255 little individual quads, and those quads are randomized um, orientation and whatnot and thrown out, and then their parent that actually holds a container spinning, so you get that weird vortex effect. Now there's our bad guy coming in. So let's let him shoot me a bit. His stapler gun sounding gun lowers my health quite quickly, which is actually a bit <laughs> except uh, he's in my spawn area, so he's trying to kick me there. He'll wake up in a second while he's doing that. Let's just quickly have a look. As you can see, it's a little bit of an explosion like a vortex. I suppose I can make it run backwards too, but. He must have got one last shot off, so game over. So, what I'm going to do here is just hit retry. And he gets respawned where he needs to be. We're going to go for a bit of a fly here. Um, the particles, I've restricted their, their y-axis to almost no effect. They have no multiplier on the y-axis. So here we go, this is the center of them. The center of the explosion, as it were. There we go. Um, you can include the y-axis under the random distribution, and then you end up getting what looks like a blizzard, depending on how you scale the little sprites, and of course you could, or sorry, the little quads, and of course you could texture them with a snowflake, or smoke, or debris, or whatever you want to do. But uh, it's working quite well. Um, just pause that a second. The uh, coat I'm going to try and slide in the way here for you. I'm just calling it shimmer quads, but basically uh, every 64 milliseconds it'll come in here. And if this counter is above 40, it resets it to the center. So that brings everything back. Then you have the uh, explosion quad itself. Each one, and there's 255 of them. Each quad knows how to transform itself. And here you're seeing a no Y movement, but because I was randomizing the rotations, um, as you'll see here, that was putting a little bit of Y values into the actual vertex positions of the quad. So what I did is, in the multiplier for scale, I have that at 10%. That keeps it pretty low. In fact, it beats it right down to almost nothing. The uh, command that does most of the heavy lifting is right here. And that's the transform me. And it just it, uh, does a little bit of ma matrix math on my uh, difference. So this is like a delta up here. It's your delta position, delta rotation, and delta scale. And it will apply that through here through a little bit of matrix math. Anyhow, uh, that's not the coolest bit. The actual item running is. Let's do a little bit of a... So here you can see that its container entity is actually spinning. Oh, and he's trying to shoot me from all the way down there. Still trying to get below me. Anyhow, thanks for.
for watching.